next guests are known for showcasing their bubbly personalities while sipping on a little bit of bubbly. <laughs> As the hosts of Hallmark Channel's official podcast, Bubbly Sesh, please welcome to our home for the very first time, and this will not be the last because Aww. we love them so much. Yay. Welcome, Jack and Shaw. Well, so excited to have you. <laughs> Thank you for so having excited. us. We love what you're doing. Your mm -hmm. podcast is so much fun to listen to. It really just feels like a couple of girlfriends sitting around and just, <laughs> just talking about their favorite movies. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. Yeah. But this podcast came to be because of one specific Hallmark movie in particular. Isn't that right? Yes, there is a very special one near and dear to our heart, uh, Nine Lives of Christmas. There's we, cats. Um, just this cat. <laughs> there's a hunky fireman. So there's Christmas. There's Christmas. It's perfect. Um, we actually went out for a glass of bubbly, two bubbly gals drinking some bubbly together. And I told Jax, I said, I just love this movie, Nine Lives of Christmas. I just watched it today. It just makes me happy. And she said, me too. I love Nine Lives of Christmas. It was this beautiful confessional moment that we had when we realized that we were going to be bonded for life for Hallmark movies. And then you knew this was it. This is yeah. the podcast. Yeah. What else well, would it be? Well, my husband, we wanted to creatively collaborate on something. We didn't know what. And my husband said, well, I love when you to get together and you're passionate when you're passionate about something you always just y'all have fun and your banter's fun and so he said why don't you guys do a podcast and I said oh that that sounds like a good idea and told Jax about it and there you go and after Nine Lives of Christmas we were like let's do homework movies it's gonna be so much fun so. yeah so back in 2017 you guys did your very first episode what is so cool that you guys like manifested this on your own which is really incredible and then you did it for Christmas and Evergreen, your first podcast. And then this year, just a couple years later, I mean, you got a meeting that changed your lives, really. Yes, we had a meeting with Bill Abbott, the CEO, mm -hmm. and right. we were very excited to that he, we actually were able to meet with him face to face. Yeah, and yeah. that That's we a big were, deal, you know. Yeah, yeah. Deal. it's not yeah. every day you just pick up the phone and call <laughs> the CEO of a network. You're like, hello, this yeah. is Jackson Schultz. I'd like a meeting. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I, 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 is that how south. you did it? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, we really couldn't believe it. We we emailed um, we emailed him and Michelle Vickery, who's the head of programming, right. and and they responded, and we couldn't believe it. And when we walked in to Hallmark headquarters in New York, it was already exciting just already to be there. Exciting. It, it sort of felt like a Hallmark movie because it was just things were just happening, and he was excited about us. We were so excited to be there. It really is. It's a dream come true, you guys. It's it's. It was, were you nervous? I Wildly. Was, yeah. <laughs> I was all, it, yes. Definitely. Yeah. But, but he really made us feel at home immediately, and we started talking about our passion for the network and how as millennials, there are so many other millennials who are watching, and then he said, I'm, I'm really excited about what you guys are doing. Would you come and meet our sales team? And I think that was one of the most incredible moments <laughs> I've ever had or will ever have, right? Well, and we just thought, we're going to walk by and say hey to a few people, you know, in yeah, cubicles, casual. casual, you know, yeah. like you do. And then and we walk into this conference room, and it's um, about 40 people deep. So <laughs> we, we couldn't believe it, but everyone was so warm, so welcoming, and we told them about the podcast, and we shared our love for these movies, and everyone clapped at the end, and it just felt really just so sweet, and it felt like we were in the place that we needed to be. Yeah. No. You are definitely in the place that you need to be, and that's how the feeling is around this entire place. So welcome to the family, really, yeah. because we Thank love you what guys. you're doing. Thank you and, so much. You know, you love Christmas as much as we do, so you really fit in around. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah. Oh my goodness. In case you didn't notice, we've been celebrating Christmas in July for the last two mm -hmm. weeks, and we're all getting ready for our 40 brand new Hallmark Christmas movies, our countdown to Christmas. 40 brand new movies. That's a big deal. Yay! Yay! celebrating some very exciting personal news for Countdown to Christmas. Yes, uh, my sister and I have a board game company and we collaborated with Hallmark to create a Countdown to Christmas game. It's a game made for fans, by fans. Shaw has played it numerous times. Yes. It's tried, tested, and true it's that so the fans fun. will love it and we're so excited to be celebrating Christmas from now until all the way through Christmas. We can't wait. It was only 152 days left? Is yeah, that I mean, that's it. It's counting. It's counting, right? I love how you had this passion for Hallmark and you just, you know, as viewers and look, here you are hosting the podcast, doing the board game. Like, that's incredible. Like, I think you two you. are so incredible. And I know on your podcast you have your um, bubbly sesh pop quiz. So we uh, thought... <laughs> 
It was only fitting that we do a homework yes. Christmas pop quiz for you guys. Are you ready for this? Uh -oh. turn it's the different being on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And literally so all our guests say I was going to say, you have a board game, so you need to know all of these answers. Yes. The, the pressure's we off. Got this. Yeah, yeah, we got this. We got this. What we're going to do is we're going to show you some movie posters of Hallmark okay. movies, and then we're going we're gonna to put, you know, disguise the faces of one of the characters in the movie, okay. and you have to tell us who that is. And we can work as a team? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, yes, yes, yes. We got this. Yeah, okay, so situation. the first one is Pride, Prejudice, and Mistletoe. Who's missing from this poster? Uh, well, Lacey. Lacey Chabert. Uh, yes, Lacey. <laughs> All right, up next, Journey Back to Christmas. The queen. The queen of Christmas. Candace Cameron for me. <laughs> They're like, this is too easy. You got that. Maybe we should throw in some trick ones. I know. Okay, <laughs> next, let's see. We have the Christmas ornament. Who's missing here? Aww. Well, we have to note this one because we're at the house. We're at the house, and he's so hunky and handsome. <laughs> <Cameron> <laughs> He knew that because if he didn't, he would have been very offended. However, like I said earlier, he's been in like 16 Hallmark movies, so he gets his characters confused sometimes. Yeah. And we're excited about his yeah. new one, too. That's no, great. that's right. Exactly. He's on his way back from that one. Okay, now we're taking this way back to the very beginning. Oh, okay. Right? You ready for this right. one? Are we? I hope, I hope so. Know this one. Mm -hmm. Christmas in Evergreen. <laughs> oh, there's two. Okay. Okay. I think it's. No. This is what started it all. Okay, um, one Holly Robinson. Holly Pete. Robinson. Yes. Yeah, and then Barbara, Barbara Nevin. Nevin. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that's who was yeah, on the box, right? Yeah. It's not easy to do, by the way. Oh, and that was our first podcast yeah. episode. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. well we I got think to meet Ashley Williams too. Yeah. In the studio, oh. which is great. She's oh. incredible. Well, I think to celebrate one, you guys just completely nailing every single one of those questions and your podcast. I think it's only fitting that. With the bubbly girls, we have a little bubbly, right? Oh, yes, please. Oh, thank you. Pink champagne, Pink by the way. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. Perfect for summer. Yes. You guys are so lovely. Maybe we should put some orange juice in this. And make <laughs> 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 Tonight's healthy pour. Cheers, Cheers, ladies. ladies. Cheers, you guys. Congratulations on everything. You. You're so you. wonderful. We love you. <laughs> and I'd like to say cheers to you all. Make sure to listen to Bubbly <laughs> Sesh's latest interview with Roman Love's Peter Porte, available now. And then on Monday, you can enjoy a brand new Roman Love recap with these two ladies. And remember, Bubbly Sesh is available for download wherever podcasts are available. Cheers. cheers. <laughs>